Howdy folks, it's a tall turtle here. Welcome back to X-Plane 11. Today we're taking a little break from the 727 aircraft and we're going to fly a cute little turbo arrow. And where are we? We are on Kodiak Island in Alaska. And we're going to do a cute little 70 nautical mile GA flight across the entire island starting at Akhoyak Ahiak Airport. Hmm, Papa Alpha Kilo Hotel. And we're going to go to Kodiak Municipal Airport. Not the main airport, but the Municipal Airport. Papa Alpha Kilo Delta. Like always, you can check the description below for more details. Real weather is turned off because it is insane. It's stormy, cloudy, fogged in, super high winds. Not good for a VFR GA flight. We're going to put our destination on the GPS. But other than that, that's just so the autopilot can take us somewhere while we look around. Otherwise, it's going to be VFR. Visual landing and everything. Visual approach. Just based on whatever we want because there's no weather. Um, as much as I cringe to say it, please leave a like on the video or comment. That will let YouTube know there's interaction. And it will make it visible to other people who want to see it. Who are like-minded like you and want to see this style of plane. Or plane. Flight simulator. I almost said plane game. Flight simulator. Anyway, I gotta work that out. I'm gonna big for likes because it makes me cringe. But with the algorithm of YouTube, we have to play the like game. We have to play the YouTube algorithm game. So leave a like. YouTube will say, hey, there's something going on. And it'll recommend it to other people who want to see flights in. So thank you very much for that. Let's get started. Let's try to keep this video kind of short. We've had some long ones. Well, not long, but involved videos lately with those jets. So here we go. What are we going to do? We are going to... By the way, don't remember how to do this. You can also be able to hide that. We're going to remove chocks. We're going to do wait and feel. We are hanging out with um, some parents and their kids today. I guess they're going to be a preteen and a teen, I guess. Um, put me in there and our buddy. There, okay. Um, half fuel is fine. There we go. Parking brake should be set. It's in here somewhere. I've not flown this plane in a bazillion years. So we'll see how this goes. Battery to on. I think that's over here. Check the fuel gauges. Um, what do we have for fuel? Should be half. There it is. Check fuel gauges. Make sure these lights are on and they are. Battery can come off now. Trim in the middle, it always is. Um, recharge the battery, don't need to. Spark plug flying, don't need to because we haven't flown yet. Auto switching for the fuel, yes, because you'll get lopsided if you don't switch fuel tanks. All right, simple enough. Close the baggage door, which is that button here. Close the main door, which is that one, and then we latch it up here. There. If I try to close it myself, it never closes all the way. In fact, the other last time we flew this, the door wasn't even closed all the way. <laughs> all right, fuel tank, left tank. There we go. Props forward like that. Um, throttle one quarter. Confirm avionics are off. Battery on. Nav and rotation beacons on. Fuel pump. Or is it low for turbo? Mixture rich. Turbo hold the primer by the VOR button thing. There's primer. There we go. Yell clear prop out the window. And start the engine key. I can't remember. Do we not? Yeah, okay. It just goes on its own. Because sometimes you got to click it. Sometimes you mouse wheel it. Sometimes you hold it. Sometimes you let go. And this one you let go. All right. That should be good for that. Um, alt switch. Oh, can't quite get there. On. Confirm those lights went out over here and they did. Throttles 1400 to 1500 RPMs. I think we can see them down. Oh, well, where are you? Down here. 1400 to 1500. Confirm gyro suction between 4 and 5 and it is. Alrighty, bring that down. Lean mixture. Turn on all instruments. Turn on. Um, Turn on, turn on, turn on, though we're not going to use it. Turn on, though we're not going to use it. Then turn that like that. Okay. Fuel tank left and then right and then back again. 
right, left, it stayed on. I think the gyros. There we go. Altimeter barometer doesn't matter. Well, not as matters to be 2902 because, um, where is it? 2902 because no other. 2990 and 2. All right, flight plan. We're very simple. We're just going to put in the destination. Let the autopilot take us there and then we'll land based on what we see. Since there's no other to worry about. Okay, so Papa Alpha Kilo Hotel. I'm going to go to Papa. Papa is back here. Alpha. What is it? Kilo again? Kilo Delta. Kilo Delta. Boom. There we go. And we're actually just going to fly direct. Just go direct to it. Not going to load any instruments, approaches, or anything. We're just going to do a basic flight. Just a very simple basic flight and land however we feel like it. All right, no taxi lights on this thing. Um, we're going to taxi though and the runway do a run up in this thing because it's been a long time since we've done a run up. So here we go, parking brake off and have a very, very long taxi, about 120 yards over here. And then we would face into the wind, but there's no wind. We're going to do a run up anyway. Look at that gorgeous weather. Gorgeous everything. All right, so let's just come over here. And we're actually going to do a run up at the end here. There's no other traffic. It's a private airfield, I think. And we don't want to blow people away playing in the garage. So we're going to go just like this. And stop and set the parking brake and for a run-up which has been a long time parking brake is set props full forward mixture forward um 2000 rpms like so whoa that's more 2000 um where did you go bring you back bring you back come on there we go Meg to the left note the drop back to both right to both confirm gyro suction that's over here good oil temperature everything looks good Ooh, we can do a, do a stopwatch there um, press the enunciator thing is that this there we go all right mixture still full rich props back forward back forward come over here alt air open alt air closed fuel pump off fuel pump on gotta confirm it's still green over here for fuel pressure yes right here fuel flow good come back over here fuel pump back on throttle to idle confirm smooth idle they use these stalls very good That's good. Okay. A little bit more throttles so doesn't stall on us, though. Next page. All right. Before takeoff, confirm battery and all switches are on, and they are. Fuel pump on, and it is. Alter to close, it is. Make sure profitable. Four flaps 10 degrees. Where's the flap indicator on here? Down here? Yeah, there it is. Flap lever, I guess. Megs on both. Landing lights on. Landing lights. Can't get it. There we go. Trim in the middle. Confirm door is locked. Latched and locked and it is pedo heat on oh that was pedo heat there's landing lights um heading bug autopilot we'll worry about autopilot when we get in the air start clock and timer for autopilot um we'll come over here we'll do let's do oh, really let's move this over so i can get to my buttons um no i guess it doesn't matter let's just get rid of you gps Right? Uh oh, my nav data better not be out of date. No, okay. <laughs> I should have current nav data. So it's not to GPS. So what we'll do we'll come down here. We will turn autopilot on, turn the heading on, move this over to nav. Nav is set to GPS. And then we'll hit the secret alt hold, which is the Piper icon. Okay. Heading bug, don't really care about the heading bug. I should care about the heading bug. There we go. Alrighty. 
Well, let's get going. Parking brake is off. Start this timer. And start going out here. Okie dokie, it's been a long time. We're just going to follow our GPS path and sightsee along the way. And he's autopilot so we don't crash where we're sightseeing. Oh my, let's get straight on the rudders here. There we go. Here's that turbo kick in. Wow, this is hard to control. It's going to be dusty too. Yep. Alrighty. Air speed is well alive. And we're about to reach a white arc, and we are, so let's gently pull back. Here we go. And gear coming in. And flaps coming in. Uh, let's get some speed first. And kill the turbo. So that yellow light is out. There we go. You can hear the difference. There we are. And I think we're going to turn around to get to our GPS track. Keeping our speed alive. Um... In a minute, we can turn the fuel pump off and the landing lights off, but we're going to wait a little bit. we got to get our speed up to 90. We want to climb between 90 and 97. There's our GPS track coming into view. I think we can sightsee while we're climbing out. I don't know if this is a good idea. Don't think so. Let's make, wait till we make our turn, and then we'll sightsee. In the meantime, um, I really want to hand fly because it's fun, but I really want to sightsee. That's what autopilot's going to be for. Um, let's try to sightsee and hand fly while I adjust myself in my chair. And there we go, 79 nautical miles. Um, what altitude are we going to fly at? I don't know. Up there. All right, there's 92 knots. I think we're trimmed well enough. Can I let go now? A little bit. All right. Let's look around a moment while we can. Oh my gosh, is that gorgeous or what? Kodiak Island, Alaska. It's a national park, I believe. Look at that. I'm going to have to look at pictures of this place in real life. I can't imagine what this looks like. Wow. Oh, we can see other islands and things as well from here. Look at that. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. Alrighty, what are we doing? Bump my microphone, sorry. Oh, it was nice as to hand fly. Let's get this set up. So I'm gonna do autopilot heading to na no, no, there, nav. Thank you. I should have done that first. Okay, that'll follow our GPS for us. And as soon as we get to an altitude I'm comfortable with, we'll hit that secret all told button. And then that's all there is to it. Cruise. Actually, hang on. We gotta do some lights. We gotta do landing lights. And fuel pump. All right. Cruise. Twenty-three and twenty-two, or twenty-eight and twenty-two when we're ready. So twenty-eight on the manifold. And twenty-two on the props. But we're still gonna climb a little bit though before we do that. That is it. All we do is when we get to our Desired altitude as we hit the secret alt hold button and autopilot is going to do the rest. That is all she wrote. Um, what do we want to level off at though? So we clear the terrain. <laughs> what are we at? Three grand only, 34. Let's get at least to five grand. At least get to five grand and then we'll adjust accordingly. I try to look up the heights of these mountains and I couldn't figure it out. I think it was, it was like 1 in the morning when I planned this flight, so that could be it. There's 4 grand, aiming for 5 grand, 4,500, 48, and 49, 20, 40, 60, 80, and a secret alt button. There we go. All right, we're gonna bring Manifold back to 28. And all those props set to on my checklist here, 23 for the, for the turbo. There we go. Creeped up on us there to 29. Okay, there we are. We are just going to fly until we see an airport and then we'll circle to land. 
no weather to worry about because there's no weather to turn on. Um, that's it. Just um, fuel pump on, flaps, gear, flaps, flaps, touchdown, slight flare. That's it. All right, half an hour. Lots of sightseeing. I may or may not put music. Depends how I feel when I edit. But I'm going to give you a lot of sightseeing. So enjoy the ride, and I'll see you in a little bit.
right, we're seven minutes out. Time to do something. If we take out the binoculars, we're not landing at that airport, the big one. We're going to go to this little one right here. Runway 2. So that means it'll be pretty much straight in. When we get closer, we'll adjust our track a little bit and then do a little dogleg to the left. Very simple. But for fun, let's put in a VNAV. Um, 139 feet is the... Um, airport elevation so we want to be at the airport at 800 feet per minute or so so it's time to come down at a thousand feet per minute holy moly okay well let's do that time to go autopilot whatever button that is let's go like that and now the airplane is ours and it's going to start veering to the left apparently and we're just going to come down We'll keep our speed up, push that yellow as close as we can. We have been cleared to go over the airspace of the bigger airport. We kind of want to veer to the right a little bit so we can go straight in. But we're aiming for about 200 feet. And then we'll land. Simple as that. So just to review our landing checklist. Um, what's my beginning of it? Oh yeah, props forward, landing lights on, throttle back. Approach 110 knots. Let's get our landing lights on. Alrighty. And then... Fuel pump on at 1,000 AGL, which will be 1,200 for us. And 100 for gear and flaps. 85 for flaps and 40 for flaps. I really need to have a little paper holder next to me here so I can see this better. Because I put it on the table and I can't see it. I have to reach over and pick it up all the time. Hmm, I should think about that. Anyway, fuel pump on at 1,000, then 185 and 75. 100 for flaps, 85 for flaps, 75 for flaps and touchdown. Simple as that. Let's come down about yeah, let's 800 feet per minute. Looks steeper than it really is. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Super simple. Could not be simpler than this. All right, let's turn to about 20 degrees because that's the runway heading. We're aiming for a clearing. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. See that? So we're perfectly lined up with the runway. It's just going to be fly straight in as long as we can get low enough, quickly enough here. Um, I don't know how else we would do it, come over those mountains. I guess maybe fly over the water, circle to land, but I don't think that's necessary. We're going we're gonna to be like a bush pilot here and just come straight down. <laughs> The autogen is slowly coming into view. Watch here, watch. Look at that, how it's slowly drying. Item by item. I've never noticed that before. Usually what I'm used to it doing is popping in, and then a chunk pops in, and then a chunk pops in. But look at it, it's slowly. I wonder if that's 11.40, 11.41 11 thing. See that? When I started talking about it, it was here. Now it's slowly drying in the autogenesis at a chunk, chunk, chunk. That is awesome. That is really cool. Alrighty. We are about to turn the fuel pump on here. In fact, let's just do it now because we have a lot going on. Alright, well, come on. Come on. There we go. Alright. 100 for first flaps, 85 for second, 75 for third, plus gear at 100. All right, let's stop descending so quickly. 1,000 above sea level, which is about where we want to be right now. Look at that, that autogen. I want to look around, but I think there's enough going on in front of us, enough interest in front of us that it's going to be okay. All right, gear coming down. Keep it about 100, don't slow down yet. Pitch down for speed, throttle so we don't descend. Keep it about 500 feet per minute, maybe that's too steep. Can you hear how loud, yeah, how loud that is, that's awesome. Alrighty, well, I would say we're getting blown over, but we're not because there's no wind or anything turned on. It's just us, Ooh, look at that high bridge. Our first set of flaps. Pitch down to keep our speed, throttle so we don't descend. Let's get lined up with the runway. Alright, why does it feel so windy when it's not windy? What is going on? I think the wind's off, yeah. 
There we go. But I have like all this right early on just to go straight. What is going on? Well, rider final touchdown speed. Let's not do that yet. All right, pitch down to keep our speed up here. Full flaps. There we go. Alrighty, this is our final speed. Let's keep it good. Yeah, I look, I look how much right early on I have. Look at that, just to go straight. Weird, I wonder if there's something going on with the new version of the plane, or X-plane. And then the airplane, because look at, look how much I'm staying to the right just to go straight, and there's no wind. Hmm, anyway. This is our final touchdown. Let's see how this goes. Why am I fighting this when there's no wind? Look at this. Very strange. Weird. Slight flare. Throttles back. There we go. About 400 foot per minute. That was a little rough. But see? Look, I got right rudder finally kicked in. That was weird. Did you see how much early on I had to go? Very strange. I don't know. Could be the x -plane update. Could be... Who knows? Not gonna worry about it. What, what was that? I didn't do that. Huh, interesting. Alrighty, let's pull off here. And we'll hang this thing up. Pull into this person's yard here and pick them up. How's that for airplane taxi service? We'll go right to your yard. Right to your yard. There you go. Alright, let's set the parking brake. Here we go. Open up this window so we can breathe here. And what are we doing? We're going to stop the clock. 41 minute flight time. Longer than I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. Landing lights can come off. Anti-collision lights can come off. Flaps are up. Confirmed. Fuel pump off. Pedo heat off. What happened? I hit the wrong, wrong side. Huh? What happened there? Um, parking brake set. Avionics off. Like so. Throttles to idle. Mixture cut off. Key off. What wrong way? Remaining lights off. There shouldn't be any remaining lights. Battery alt to off. Fuel tank selector to off. Open the doors. Like this. Sometimes I can do it like this. There's an arrow here. Where is it? Oh, it's a push button now. Okay. And come outside. And set the chocks and open the back door. There you go. Kodiak Island, Alaska. As simple as it gets. GA, 45-minute flight. Just use GPS so we didn't get lost. No other instruments. Used autopilot to sightsee. Kind of a steep descent because we had to. Strange landing. I don't know what the heck was going on there. And otherwise, that's it. Super simple. Hopefully you liked it. I'm going to plan some more flights, and I'll see you next time.